It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Scotty McCreary, who was invited to join the Grand Ole Opry on Sunday. Oh, that's a nice invite. Yeah, it's a great honor, and uh, he was very excited by it. Well done. Uh, it took 65 years, but Brenda Lee's Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree is number one on the Hot 100. Uh, that is quite the run. 65 years, she finally made it to the top of the charts. I wonder Scary. why now. Do you know why? I don't know, but she is the oldest to have a song hit the top of the Hot 100 at 78. The uh, old record holder was Louis Armstrong back in 1964 with Hello Dolly. Wow. Um, he was 62 at the time. So, yeah. Interesting. Uh, there were a couple of more records that were broken with it. The, uh, the list was fairly long, but well done. Uh, Ocean's Eleven getting a prequel. All right, so you're familiar with the Ocean's movies? I haven't really seen any of them, but I'm familiar with them. All right, so led by George Clooney and Brad Pitt, it's a group of 11 guys who, uh, you know, they started by stealing money out of a, out of a, you know, not a safe, uh, what do they call a vault in, in a casino in Vegas, and, and it goes from there. There were like three Oceans movies, I think. Well, they're getting a prequel where Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie will play the parents of a young Danny Ocean, the George Clooney character, and it'll be set in the 60s, and his parents are thieves, and they teach <laughs> the young Danny Ocean how to uh, how to become a real thief. But does the young Danny Ocean realize that his parents are Barbie and Ken? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, we do not know what's going to happen there, but hmm. uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're in the works there. Uh, Time is, has released the finalists for their person of the year. Now, the way they say it, this has nothing to do with uh, doing good or, you know, it's it's really simple. It's influence on the world. It could be good or bad. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to like this. All right. So it's just a matter of how it influenced a genre or something. Okay. So here are some of the finalists. There are others. Uh, Taylor Swift, as you'd imagine, is one of them. Uh, the Barbie movie is another one. The movie. the Well, the Barbie movie really uh, was a big deal this year. Uh, influenced a lot of things. It's a finalist. It may not be the time person of the year. Okay? Got it. Mm -hmm. The Hollywood strikers, the people who went on strike in Hollywood, is another finalist. Um, just to show you how it's all about influence and not about doing good, Vladimir Putin is a finalist, Candy for time person of the I'm just reading you the article okay I'd like to um, be in one of their board meetings AI is a finalist and King Charles is a finalist as well so who will get it what will happen if it's Vladimir Putin I'm I'm, I'm going to be very upset we're leaving we're le we're, we're leaving we're, we're, we're walking out we don't know where we're out. going but we are leaving uh, yeah, come on. Taylor Swift, person of the year. How is it not? Really? I mean, how is no, it I not? I don't know about that either. I, oh, I, come I on. Know. I mean, there's yeah. no but. Uh, uh. You want to talk about influence? It's not even a contest. It's not close. Well, then but, she'd win every year. She's right. the Swifty queen. That That is true. Um, Billy Crystal, Queen Latifah, Dionne Warwick, Renee Fleming, and Barry Gibb all received their Kennedy Center honors, and it will be broadcast on December 27th on CBS. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ashanti, you know, the uh, the great um, R&B singer Ashanti and Nelly are expecting their first child together. Oh, that's nice. Well, this will be her first and this will be his third. Uh, but they did announce that they are pregnant. Uh, Vanessa Hudgens and Major League Baseball player Cole Tucker are now married. And Stephen Colbert taking another week off after his appendix surgery. I uh, guess he needs more time to heal. Well, didn't it uh, rupture? That takes time to heal. I, I did I not it, see that. I'm not sure if it ruptured. If it did, it takes time. I had an appendicitis, and yeah, it took a good week after getting out of the hospital to recover. All right. Absolutely. Well, 
He will be out another week. Uh, ABC Tonight, the 32nd finale of Dancing with the Stars. Fox with Name That Tune, CBS with NCIS Sydney, NBC with The Voice. And I also need to mention it is my baby boy's 11th birthday oh, today. that's right. We got to talk about that. Elijah, happy birthday. And there's your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we are looking at a decent day, 46 for the high. We'll have some sun. It'll turn to clouds, but looks to be dry. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.